All right, first band is Scotty. Second band's gonna be Thor. Let's get my AC off so I'm not blowing on the mic. Uh, next band's gonna be a Jingwei. Two ADCs right off the board. That's to respect the GM uh, War Ace over there. He is an ADC main. So they're trying to, to limit his capabilities, his way to influence the match right now. What is this next band going to be? Picasso, man, what are you doing? Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Where's the band? Where's the pick? What's going on? They banned Kumba. Last second band. Literally last second band banned Kumba. He ran down the entire clock for his team. That is terrible. That is so upsetting, dude. Vivid's banning over here. Vivid doesn't know who to ban either. Clock's running down. Honestly, they they really are that afraid of the of War Ace, but he's a GM. You can't ban him out. He's gonna have a big god pool, so go to more conventional bands. And they get rid of Poseidon. There you go. Just like I said. And they're gonna get rid of set. That's a decent solo laner ban. And they're going to ban out King Arthur. So we're going to have... Let me see if I can get this roster pulled up so we can get a look at what everybody's rocking with here. We're going to have, for red team, Call Me Picasso and Jungle. We're going to have Q-Rocks at Solo. We're going to have Cyrus at Mid. We're going to have War Ace at ADC. And we're going to have TSB Buzzard at Support. And then for blue team, we're going to have Sins in at jungle. We're going to have In Your Holes at solo. We're going to have Act Joking at mid. I believe he is Act Jokingly. Yeah, same name. Um, we're going to have Vivid at ADC. And we're going to have TSB King Azriel at support. So two TSBs going against each other here. Vivid's going to first pick a Neath. Very interesting here. So Buzzard, Picasso, um, Sins, and I believe those are the only three have already played in two other matches uh, earlier today. So you already know they're, at least at this point, pretty available. They're getting their games in when they can. And he locks in the Neath. I guess they were taking the time to debate it. War Ace is going to flash to Isis. Is he going to pick it up, though? Do, 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 do. Is Picasso going to take his jungler first overall? Now, honestly, you got to kind of be thinking to take the Neath right now. Like... Or not Neath, what am I saying? Uh, a Willix. He picks Uller, so they're not going to take the jungler right off the bat. Uh, they're going to put Uller in the hands of Warface, uh, Uller in the hands of a GM, and uh, Sins is going to take Susana. Eh. I like Susana and the Isis. I like Susana and Uller. But I mean, it's it's not like, it's not like OOP, I guess. It depends on how well Sins can play him, I guess. Um, Sins, uh, King Azrael is going to take Bacchus. I love that pick. I think Bacchus is super underrated. He has a knockup in his jump. He has a stun in his three. Love it. The protection stack as well. Beautiful character. Like, I think he's super underrated. Waiting for this next pick now.
And they're going to pick Cullen for solo and Kefries for support. So the only thing that hasn't been picked, unless unless Picasso is going to go Uller Jungle, which it honestly looks like that lines up because Cyrus is the mid and Isis is definitely going mid. Uh, In Your Holes is going to take Bologna. Act Jokingly is going to take Baron Somdi. And, or, or maybe In Your Holes isn't going to take Bologna. Maybe he's going to swap off of that. Doubtful, but... I like the Bologna pick. Yeah. And Ravana. So... The Ravana's got to be going to Picasso. Uller's got to be going to a War, War Ace. I keep wanting to say War Face. War Ace and Isis has got to be going to Cyrus. It's a bunch of weird names to combo together. So just looking at the overall matchup right now, Nice won. You get a root out of it. And then you have the global alt. Um, Bacchus's kid, I think, brings a bunch more CC. Uh, nice one, you know, also stacks to the three, if that's applied properly. Between those two characters alone, there's quite a bit of CC. I like the dual lane matchup. Uh, now, you know what I noticed? War Ace and Cyrus never swapped. Very interesting. Did that happen on purpose? It doesn't seem like it. It, it seems like they didn't swap on purpose. So it's going to be an Isis and Duelin, a mage and Duelin. Now, this could be like the more meta start that we've seen where Kefri's just going to rotate around and not really come into Duelin at all. And they're just going to leave Isis over in Duelin. That could be what happens up here. We see. I like the Kefri pick. I don't know for a roaming jungler if that's the pick. Uh, Kukulin's safe. Uh, I like the Bologna into Kukulin way better, though. And Uller in mid is questionable. Um, the straight line single target abilities are nice, but I don't know. I think it takes away a little bit from what you can bring in a team fight. So you really gotta hope that War Ace is gonna rotate and participate in a lot of these team fights earlier on than a normal ADC would. And then we're gonna go over and look at the rest of Blue Team here uh, with Susano, Baron, Somdi, and Bologna. And just looking at those three, right? So, not a fan of the Baron in mid. Um, they have a... With, with the Uller, with the Ravon, they can really close in on you. Um, you add in a Kefri rotating around. You have the three. You have the grab. Uh, I'm just not a fan of the Baron. Uh, I like mobility. That's just my preference. Um, I love the Valona. I think she's great for bullying. Uh, especially when you have, you know, any auto attack gods, Ravana, Kukulin falls in that category a little bit, Uller is over there. Uh, they're all going to be autoing a lot, Bologna gives you blocks, that's a plus. And Susano is really hit or miss for me. Um, if you can play and execute efficiently, then I think he's a plus. Uh, Ravana can two out of uh, your ability, Isis can silence you, Kukulin can jump out of it if he times it right. Uh, so there's, there's, like I said, plenty of room for air here. It just comes down to whether or not Sins can actually play him or not. Waiting for the rest of this time frame to wind down. Should be any minute now. Hopefully. Here we go. So Picasso, unless he's hiding his ranks, uh, still doesn't have a mastery on Ravana. We see Sins doesn't have a mastery on Susana. Like I said, unless they're hiding their ranks, that's not what I want to see. Um, Cyrus, hopefully he's going to be comfortable on the Uller. Uh, in your holes, hopefully he's going to be comfortable on Bologna. Both of them are rank 10 gods. Top damage. Here we go. Waiting on everybody to load in here now. Um, if we're going to make an early call for this game. 
I'm going. Uh, I'm gonna go red team. Um, I think overall, uh, blue teams comp really relies on them to play together a bit too much. It relies on some of them to perform well, and it's it's a little bit too dependent on. Them. Like Susano actually like being a capable jungler. Not necessarily that the other team that uh, uh, red team doesn't have to rely on Kali Picasso, but I feel like their team kind of they can thrive if he doesn't go off. I feel like uh, blue team's gonna need Susano to go off if they have any chance of winning this. All right, let's see if we can get this underway. Minions have spawned. So it does look like the red team went with the newer lineup in dual lane, where it's just going to be one player, one player, and it's going to be a mage. Now, honestly, uh, at this point, if I would have known that going into this matchup and I'm Bacchus and Neath, I get my one and I get my jump. And I look for an early CC chain to really put her behind. They're looking at an early invade. I don't know about that. Jeffrey coming over. That orb not really doing much. Where's our next conflict coming in at? It looks like we may have people meeting up in mid Susana coming in late. I don't know why Picasso as the Ravana's on the all the way on the left side. Is that Ula really that low? Oh he's not okay. We have a gank coming up, maybe? What level is this man? Two? Uh, he might be able to- Ooh! Ooh! That was huge! The Isis is stun. Uh, what, what is it called? Spirit Ball? Beautiful! That was timed so well. Uh, Ravana, Call Me Picasso didn't have to do anything. He just had to walk in and click a button. And now, if I'm that support, I'm a little antsy. Like, I don't know. I mean, I guess I'm not getting hurt, so I'm okay, but still a little antsy. That man just casually walked up and ganked your ADC. Like, uh, I don't know. I'd be a little concerned. Cullen raging, he might be able to get a first blood here. No, he does not. It's not even first blood, Dirk or Dirk. Oh, we look like we got some combat going on over here. I don't know what just happened, actually. He might have actually burped at her. He might have just caught the end of it right there. Good shot from Epic, or Vivid. Goodness gracious, this is going to be a fun time getting everybody's names down. This game has definitely been a little slower starting out than game one was. Game one is probably the fastest game we've had. Bologna might be getting bank ganked right here. Ravana's just sitting back. So I'd have to say, like... Not the biggest fan of that. 
I think Ravana just wasted a ton of time uh, on what was an unlikely gate to begin with. Ganking solo lane. Like, I know a lot of people are going to disagree with this. A lot of solo laners and maybe some junglers. But ganking solo lane is not as valuable as people make it out to be. Uh, one, there's a lower probability of the gank being successful because solo lane is usually one of the higher levels in the game. And they're usually tankier. Which by... Oh, we have a gank going on in left lane. It's just a Kefri, so not much. To, he's going to try to get some pressure off of uh, Isis here, which he is able to alleviate some of that. But it's it's just not worth it. Like, there's other XP that's easier to farm that you can almost guarantee for yourself um, without having to go push yourself to that struggle. Like, free kills, sure. Rotations for buffs, sure. But, like, uh, it's definitely not the place to be forcing kills uh, or trying to help set up a gank. Like, you... Solo, you kind of want to just give... You want a lot of gimme plays. Duo lane and mid lane is where you want to look to force stuff and actually try to set up a lot of your plays. Baron just trying to get out of there. I think they were looking for a gank over here. They're not really going to get much out of it though. Baku's coming back towards mid. Excuse me. A lot of pinging going on. Baku's looking back towards duo. Is he going to make it there? So Isis's positioning changed. She's backing up. Jeffrey's here. All of mid lanes rotated over. They're going to try to pick up the Isis. Which might cost them. Here comes the Susana with the ult. See, he misses the pluck. Isis ult down. That's fucking... That's terrible, man. What was going on right there? I, I, I don't even know what I just saw. This is what I was talking about with Susana. Like, you got to control the game, especially like going into the mid game now. We're six minutes in, and like you're gonna miss a, like you're barely gonna land your ult and miss that fluff. Like, yikes! I just I don't think this was the pick. And we see Uller's gonna pick up Cyrus is gonna pick up. Did he pick up Kefri? He picked up the mid laner. He picked up Kefri. No, he didn't pick up Kefri. Blah, 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 blah. Who did he pick up? He picked up Baron. Duh. Kefri's on his team. There's no way. I don't know if Bacchus is just trying to get a knock up there or not. That's unfortunate. Vivid's gotta be careful. Here comes Picasso with the root. Looking for Vivid's backflip. There's the backflip. Oh, what a spirit ball from the Isis, and they're gonna pick up Vivid. No, the shell from Bacchus. What a play. They, they're they still in this. Uh, nope. Is he gonna be able to get out? Is he gonna be able to get out? And he is. They actually might pick up the Bacchus out of this now. If Buzzer, Buzzer can get one good uh, hard CC, it's three years, one note box is out of range now. Big yikes. Big, big yikes coming for blue team right now. They seem, uh, I'm trying to think of a good word to describe this, uh, sluggish. Uh, I don't think that's the proper word, but that, that's kind of what I'm going for there. See, lethargic. There we go. That's probably not even the right word either. Uh, but we're going to go with lethargic. They seem a little lethargic out here. Sounds pretty sporty. 
Lona in a 2v1 over in Soul Lane. She's fighting and she's losing nonetheless. This man's gonna rage, he's gonna miss his root, he's gonna ult and get nothing out of it. And Bologna's gonna walk away, and yet again, call me Picasso, has wasted his time ganking solo lane. So we go look at the stat sheet right now. He's level 9, the enemy jungle is level 8, and Picasso's 2 0. How is he only a level ahead? He's got 54, he's only 300 gold ahead. This man should be so far ahead. Just leave solo lane alone. Your solo laner's doing well in solo lane already. If anything, start looking to invade more closer to speed and pressure to Susano. Good beads from the Uller, but it's not going to save him. And Baron's going to pick it up. Call me Picasso trying to get rid of him. Isn't able to do it. Bacchus was very intimidating right there. Kefri coming in. Kefri's not going to make much of a difference in my opinion. Vivid trying to put a hurting on this tower. If he stays too much longer, uh, he's going to lure that Ravana over. Uh, Kefri's going to three. Get ready for the three. There's the three. Vivid's going to backflip. Kefri's going to grab. And Spear Ball. Spear Ball went past though. Oh, that's unfortunate. And Bach is going to get the burp. But he doesn't get the stun. Susano's here. But so is Ravana. We're at the 10 minute mark now. Only four kills have been had. And about the same in gold. These teams have gone pretty even. Bologna and Kukulin leading in T into... Oh, that's total damage. Let's go to player damage. Bologna and Kukulin still leading there. Interesting play here from the Susano and Neath. I, I don't know. I just I don't know. Oh, I didn't get to see that Uller picked up somebody. Susano picked up somebody. Picasso. Oh my goodness. People are dropping like flies. Picasso with a double kill right there. They're going to try to pick up the Bacchus. Bacchus is going to jump. Picasso has got a great opportunity to get a triple. Uh, unofficial triple. Uller is going to get it instead. Cyrus is going off in mid. He's flexing the Uller pick now. Picasso calling for gold. They've got plenty of time. No need to worry about kiting this too much. Blue team's got to figure something out right now. Uh, the lead's starting to slip. They're now 4k gold behind. They're 5 kills down. Um, they got to they gotta react to some of this play. This has been some sloppy ganks from both teams, to be honest. Uh, but blue team's just not reacting, so it's working out better for red team right now. Vivid's actually played very well into the uh, Isis. One thing that I will say is I don't see any wards in the field. Uh, let me go check the wards placed. Uh, just kidding, I guess I'm blind. This says that there's been s uh, seven wards placed. Uh, we see a Neethal incoming. Vivid's going to cancel it. Did he pick up the Isis? Is that how he picked up? Yeah, that was big from Sins. Gets the Isis. Uller's going to combo him. He doesn't get the full combo in the Baron, though. Baron gets his heal off. Here comes Susana. They might as well just settle for the Kefri if they can. Ravana coming in. He's going to pick somebody up if they're not careful. And down goes Susana. This could be it for Baron as well. Oh, that stun was so crucial. Or root. It's not even a stun, I'm just saying. That root was so crucial. Baron should be able to escape. Only the best sake.
Alone is just alting in, going all in on this Kefri. And Buzzard tries to juke her out, but in your hole has none of it. Ravana just barely survives. He's gonna try to go get the. Uh, he's dead. Never mind. He's gonna try to go get the barrier, but it did not work out for him. And now they're coming for Uller. Run, Uller! Two bigs, two tanks. Kelowna looks a little hungry. Somebody's teleporting this tower. That's a waste. Isis is over here on the left, kind of peeking around, looking to see what she can do, which isn't going to be much right now. And blue team's back in the game. Can he get out? Uh, I think the box is just going to sacrifice himself. Buying some time for his team, perhaps. And blue team very much back in the game. As they, red team's going to start pyro right now. Though. This will definitely give him a little bit of boost to try to pull away again. As they're now back to about 2k gold ahead. 2100 gold ahead, somewhere around there. Oh, good play there from uh, Vivid, but Uller's kit provides more. Baron's getting chased right now. I heard a blink. Is he gonna pick? Up, is he gonna pick up Vivid? He's not gonna pick up Vivid. He's gonna die. Sins is gonna pick up Picasso. Down goes Ravana and Belota all on three people. That's huge. Uller is going to get out. Susano is hot on his tail, though. Kefri ult goes down. Kefri picks up his guy. Susano is going to get Uller off the Neath ult. I can't see the rest of the fight. Let me see. Okay, Kefri gets out. Bukulin trying to peel for his Isis, but Bologna is going to pick up the Isis. Bacchus with the knockup. There's the burp. He doesn't get the stun. Baron heal goes off. Bacchus ult right there. Tower is not going to save you, Kukulin. You should have kept running. You can't fight right there. Take the take take the tower, or fire giant. T take something. Take something. Okay, they're all going on fire giant. It's a frenzy or whatever it's called now. Frenzy's popped. We have four on fire giant. Fifth is coming in the ADC now. Here comes Vivid. The only people up for red team are Ravana, Kefri, and Uller. That's over half the team. Basic math. Ha ha ha. And blue team cleanly back in this match. Uh, they were down beforehand, but they aren't anymore. Huh. I like. There we go. Okay. Got my screen back. And let's go off of awards placed. So I'm actually going to be super salty if my audio wasn't recorded there for a second. But who knows. I just want to get off of Xbox streaming so much. It's been so difficult. As I was saying, the game is back to being tied. Blue team with a, a really strong comeback. Uh, red team unable to finish off some of the lead that they've had. Uh, the early game pressure that they were able to generate really doesn't seem to matter to this point. And Kefri starts Primal Fury. Bacchus is in the area. It looks like they might just be trying to pull it. Now uh, Ravana's going to start it as well, and they're going to attempt to do it. Bacchus has no idea. I don't think there's any wards in the area. And they're going to get Primal Fury completely uncontested. Meanwhile, the entire team is going to gank solo lane. And Susano's going to pick up Uller, and Baron's going to pick up Kukulin. This should be the solo lane tower going down right here. Down goes tier 2.
Finish it off. You have Kefri of everybody rotating in. There's a blink. Picasso isn't able to do anything there. He's just getting chased out now. Go on the Isis in the back line. Blue team, Isis in the back line. Since he's going to pick up Picasso. His uh, Susana play has really turned around as he's now gone 6 and 2. And he has been the life of his team. Yo, what a big play from Bacchus. His ult's going to really apply some pressure here. And this could. Uh, we see Vivid split pushing over here. This could be the end for Red Team. Bologna, just get out of tower. Just get out of Phoenix. Nobody's fighting with you. She gets the kill. Okay. Never mind. Stay in Phoenix. You're good. Get him. Yeah. Go get him. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Blue Team really clean a house right here. Picasso incoming now, though. They're both under half. Uh, it's a little questionable. I definitely would be looking to fight. And Vivi got that left Phoenix, man. That is huge. Blue team really turned this game around. Susano goes seven and two. Bologna goes four and zero. Oh. What a game! Baron goes four and two. Bacchus one three and seven. Neath zero oh and three. Even though Neath is zero oh and three right now with three assists, um, the global alt has helped, and the split push has gotten them a phoenix. So, stat line doesn't tell all the story. And here they go on Pyra. Down goes Pyra. No problem. If I'm blue team, I say we group and attack that right Phoenix. They're leading in kills. They're leading in gold. They're at the 20 minute mark. Let's see what we can do. Let's group and let's get that right Phoenix. They are like seriously spread out. I don't know what is going on. So this is a big negative. If I were to give any advice on uh, like specific advice on what the team should be doing right now, they should be doing something other than just wandering around aimlessly. That's for sure. Uh, like group up. Obviously, there's no real objective. Fire Tonic just came down. Maybe look at fire, or just look at the phoenix. Look at something. Like they're squabbling uh, the momentum. Essentially, they're gonna they're gonna get a little cold. Uh, if they had a level lead, if they had a gold lead, whatever the situation is, which they do have a bit of a level lead. Uh, Bologna being twenty, nobody else being twenty. Play into that. That's a big advantage. They need to take it. Hopefully, this is the group that they need right here. Isis is in dual lane clearing wave by herself. Just make sure Bologna and Bacchus take care of your squishies. Bologna really far in the back line. Sins is going to pick up Cyrus. Bologna, where are you going? He's going to go to 8 and 2 in his Susana play. Uh, it might be what gets him the W here. They're going to go on the enhanced fire? Is that normal fire? I think that's normal fire. Isis, Baron, the zoning was really good. Blue team gets it. That was great play from blue team. The zoning was next level. And they're going to be able to pick up the Kefri right here. There's the Neath ult. That's going to keep uh, Ravana from getting all the way out of this. Sin's able to pick him up. Is Sins going to be able to pull it off? They might get Kukulin instead then. They are going to get Kukulin instead then. Goodbye Kukulin. 
Attack right Phoenix, guys. Group up at the... Oh, mid lane tower. That works too. As long as they're doing an objective, I'm fine. Just something, man. Just don't aimlessly wander around again. So the reason I keep saying right lane instead of this mid lane is purely because of the distance from right Phoenix to left Phoenix and the fact that left Phoenix is down. Um, it's going to be harder to defend fire minions incoming from that left lane if you see from the right lane. Little details like that, obviously they don't necessarily change a fight in any serious way. But if you add them up, any edge you can get, any advantage you can get, it will eventually like start to pay off. Red team back on their heels now. Uh, this is going to be rough. I think they've got a group and really focus on protecting Isis. And they have to focus on protecting Uller. If they have any chance of getting the W here. Blue team's going to go in on Gold Fury. Uh, they're going to get it uncontested. It looks like not a problem. Let's see if anything's going to come out of this now. Momentum and, and gold and kills, XP, everything is on blue team side right now. All they have to do is finish out the game. Just group and end it. Let's look at builds while we wait to see that happen. Susana... Doesn't have Heartseeker, which is a little surprising. I know it just got buffed, so uh, I kind of expect to see that on there somewhere. Let's look at Neath. I honestly don't like the Titan's Bane on Neath, and that Crusher's way too late. Baron. Ooh, here we go, big fight. Could this be the end? Baron Heal really comes in handy. There goes down to Bologna ult. Here comes Susana ult. Knock up. And they're a little separated in this fight. Bologna off on her own. Uh, 2v1-ing. She leaves two of her teammates in a 2v2. Kukulin's going to chase out the Susana. There goes the Neath ult down. And Baron's able to pick up... I can't even see who that is, to be honest. He picked up somebody. It was the Kefri, I believe. And Picasso's going to pick up Sins. Susano falls. That's exactly what they needed. He chased him all the way back down, like towards that uh, left Phoenix. Really chased him across the field. Blue team's gonna try the end. I think they're kind of sensing the urgency that they need to have right now. But it might be too late. Losing Picasso kind of hurt. They have a minion wave right here. Uh, if anything, they need to look at a pick before they look to actually siege. And Picasso might be the guy to kill. I meant to say Sins. Losing Sins hurt, not losing Picasso. Yeah, at this point, if I'm blue team, uh, full retreat. Let's reset. Uh, everybody, you know, let's get our items. Let's finish up what we can on our build. Uh, we can probably prepare to fight over an objective or to push lane. Preferably left lane. Tower's about to come up. Right or middle lane. I don't know. Something. They do look to reset, though. They're lingering a little too much. They are grabbing Pyro right here, which is a nice move. Bologna might get herself into trouble. Nope, they're just going to let her rock, walk away. Okay, then. And there is some moving around fire giant. There's no way anybody's starting fire right now.
Bologna is smacking around a little bit. Bacchus with a stun. There's the jump. Bologna smash. Bologna ult. Bologna kill. Here comes Susano old inbound as well. Blue team looks like they might have a big chance here. That Kukulin knockup helps get his team out, but it might not save anybody. As Bologna's going on, on this Uller. Uller gets the stun. Kukulin's trying to run, and he's dead. He's gone. Deleted. Gone. Like, in an instant. That Baron heal just does so much damage. Let alone so much heal. And they're going to push this right Phoenix right now, maybe. I don't know what they're doing. Everybody's stretched out right now. There's so much confusion, I think, for blue team. They might actually throw this siege. Isis is going to get away. Is she going to get away? She is. Baron is going to pick up. I didn't even see who he picked up. Bacchus picked up. Uh, Kefri, maybe? It's so hard to tell. You obviously, I don't know if you guys... Well, I mean, you guys should be able to see since you see my screen. And Blue Team is going to end the game. But everything is so small on my screen. I had to be, like, right up on it to see anything. So I can't necessarily see when people die all the time. Or who dies all the time. Blue Team is going to take game one. Phenomenal comeback. Phenomenal, phenomenal... Phenomenal. Great comeback. 25 to 11. They were down at one point in the series and gold and kills. Uh, it really looked like red team was going to run away with it. Uh, great fight from blue team. Uh, surprising L from red team. Uh, I picked them as the favorite to win. I like the comp a little bit more. In, in the early game, they definitely seemed to have the abuse going. But towards the late, mid and late game, they threw. They blew it. They could not pull it together to get the W. And that is super unfortunate. Let me see if I can get in the second lobby right now. I think they're getting the lobby set up right now. Whew. You sweating over there, Aaron? <sighs> I wish I could turn my AC on, but yeah, I'm sure you guys don't want to hear <laughs> in the fucking mic. All right, let's load on in here. Just waiting for people to change teams. Hello? Smite? There we go. Alright, we are queued for spectate. While we are in the spectate queue, I'm going to mute my mic and turn on my AC, guys. I will be back.
All right. Oof. Still fucking hot. This is a lot to unpack here. All right. Going into game two of the series. It's only a two-game series, so there won't be a game series. It's not like best of five or anything like that. I'm trying to go to bed tonight at some point. <clears throat> so... Picasso rocking a Willix. Big fan of a Willix. You guys know all about that if, if, if you guys follow Kaliji at all. Um, Cyrus on the Hera. Uh, I think he ran that in one of the earlier games. That seems to be a comfort pick for him. Uh, Buzzard on Horus. Big comfort pick for him. Vivid on Cernos. That's going to be interesting. I don't know how I feel about the Cernos first pick. Uh, Q Rocks on Jormungandr. Big fan of that. Uh, I think you kind of took that away from Buzzard or Vivid, though. I know it's both within their play uh, capabilities. They're god fools. Um, in your holes on Fafner. That's a little iffy playing in a solo lane. As long as he lands his abilities, uh, specifically that one, I think he can make it work. It's kind of questionable, though. King Azrael. Uh, Kukulin support. Uh, don't sleep on it. That's all I got to say. Don't sleep on it. Um, but for the most part, I think late game is kind of... There's definitely some better supports you could have had to go into that. I guess that's why you picked the Fafner and Solo. You kind of let them play off of each other a little bit. Um, Mercury into a Willix. I like the Willix all day into a Mercury. Like any day, all day. But uh, we'll see. I mean, the grab is really nice. I like the CC from the three. That's really nice. The alt CC is okay, uh, but close range. I still like a Willix. The, you know the flip's coming, so you, so I mean I guess you can kind of try to play into that as a Mercury. But once his grabs down, if I'm a Willix, I'm a flip him. I'm a knock him up. I'm a auto. I'm a alt. I'm a auto, and he's dead. Or some other combo, depending on who who you are. And then the last thing we got, they let Baron back in. <clears throat> I think it's a mistake. I think the Baron had a big impact last game. Um, the heels were all over the place. The CC from the alt. He was pulling people. It was big. Uh, he definitely had a huge impact. So I questioned them letting the Baron pass. But we'll see how that goes. Should be getting into the game here now. <sighs> Alright, we're going to go look at player damage. <clears throat> and get everybody's builds and everything up. I'm going to move up closer to my screen. Alright, everybody's loaded in now. I can actually see a little bit more of the screen now, so hopefully I can make some calls on who dies, etc, etc. Instead of just some... Yeah, I don't know who, who that is. Just somebody from that team. <clears throat> so, Guardian's Blessing on In Your Holes. He might be going uh, support. He might have swapped with uh, King Azrael. I know Azrael is a solo main, so they could have swapped that around. And that looks like that's exactly what they did. Flexing a little bit here. has eyes on the back of his head and shoulders and chest pretty much everywhere <clears throat> why do I hear Hera very interesting they're really double teaming war, war ace over here I, I almost said it again it's not war face it's war ace uh, so this is the first game we actually have seen with him on an ADC as well. He went with Churn and Bog. Let's see what Solo is looking like. A 
Willix. Uh, ooh. So you got to see it right here, guys. Two different clears. Um, well, two different clear styles. So going from speed to those harpies and then to blue versus going from speed to blue to those harpies. Um, and in my opinion, a Willix is definitely ahead right now. Uh, she's going to get that mid harpy right there, <clears throat> which you guys can't see. Oh, there's a fight going on right here. You guys can't see what I'm talking about because I'm looking at the map, of course. Um, but she got picked up that right mid harpy. She's probably going to pick up this left mid harpy if she plays her cards right. And that's a bunch of neutral farm that's now been robbed from Mercury. Somebody blinked in. I'm not sure who it was. And there's a lot of potential for kill. Willix is coming in. She gets the knock up. She's gonna get both auto or one auto and a flip. She doesn't get both. It's not there. I don't know where everybody's going. Gank left. Go gank left. Yeah, there you go. Oh, turn us playing a little smart. Ooh, Yorm has. Ooh, just a little bit more patient. He probably would have that kill. Maybe, maybe not. <clears throat> He's so close though. So, <clears throat> I have to say so far from today's showcases, Dox is definitely shown to be the top team. He's the mid that you want. Yeah, if, you're, if you're drafting right now, he's the guy you want to build around from mid lane. Is Dox, but like right behind him, like you would still consider first round picks by all means. Were Oddfire and then Cyrus up to this point so far have both played really well. Like definitely played out of their ranks to some extent or another. There have been questionable decisions with positioning. I will say that much as far as Cyrus goes, but uh, he was able to pull it together, help get his team a win. Uh, I like what I've seen so far. I haven't seen too many bad mistakes. Positioning can be coached up. Uh, Willix, I don't know what you're doing over here. Oh, she's coming for the gank in mid. And there's no ward there, so Baron has no idea. Baron still has no idea. I don't know why she didn't get off the cat sooner. What are you doing? I was just say, I hope to goodness she doesn't actually lazy back right there. Let's go see a Baron spin. Not Baron, uh, Yorm. Yorm's fighting a rage Kukulin. Not much there. Typical solo lane. <clears throat> War Ace getting some solo farm. Pretty lax five minute mark of the game right now. Only one kill on the board. Yorm might be in trouble. Yorm's gonna ult out of it. Yorm's definitely not in trouble. Oh, and I missed Warius's kill. Yorm might be in trouble now. Nope, he might be too tanky. Excuse me. Oh, 
I have no idea what, what I'm looking at right now. Here, trying to run away. I'm gonna get back to this camera. There we go. <clears throat> Picasso is gonna pick up the Baron. Are they gonna be able to pick up Fafner as well? Here, or Argus is fucking going in, dude. Optimus Prime over there. You know, it is terrible in spectator mode. I don't know if it reflects in the stream or not, but Argus got some loud ass fucking footsteps. Do, 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 do. Like, shit. Ooh, Vivid. Be careful, Vivid. Big plays here. Here comes in your holes. Oh, goodness gracious. Vivid's. Vivid might die. This could be it. This is it for Vivid. Picasso is going to pick him up. No problem. Blue team's over here 4-0 right now. They definitely got their feet under them this time around. Baron with the, the root right there. Nothing too major. Lands the hammer, doesn't do too much damage, although Baron does follow up beautifully. And then pokes her down. It only takes about a quarter of her health though. Yorm's in trouble right here, Yorm's in trouble. Or is he? Yeah, he's actually definitely in trouble. He might get away right here though, because of that dash. He is gonna get away. And here comes Mercury. Mercury's gonna pick up. Take me over to it. Mercury's not gonna pick him up. War Ace is here too. War Ace is gonna pick him up. And they're gonna try to get the Mercury. And War Ace is gonna get the Mercury. This man is all over the place right now. He's what, 3 0? 1 assist. Oelix is 3 0, 1 assist. Call me Picasso. Definitely putting his name up there as a jungler right now. There's the Fafnir Alt. Fafnir, Fafnir Alt. Now we see Vivid playing into a Yorm by himself. We see... Can I get to Hera? That would be nice. Hera over here. Anyway. Hera is almost dead. But so is Baron. Argus has the opportunity and he is not able to finish her off. Or him off. Baron's going to get out. Is Yorm got something up his sleeve? Can I just go straight to, like... It'd be amazing. Guys, buckle up, because if anybody who's going to be watching these, you're going to hear me complain about the spectator in this game on, on console a lot, because it's so aggravating. Oh, Kukulin! Having none of it. Here comes the, uh, in your holes. He's gonna land the hammer. Oh, and a Willix is just barely gonna escape. Kukulin's gonna pick up a uh, horse though. Can I go back to that fight? Yeah, there we go. Hera might be in dangerous territory. I think not. Oh, and I miss War Ace again. Vivid is not having a good day. He is 0-2 right now. Warriors is 4-0. There's a two-level difference right now. Big yikes. Big yikes. And War Ace picks up, uh, it's terrible, I'm so close to my TV and I still can't see it, but Mercury goes down, I saw that, Hera picks him up, as he, for whatever reason, grabs the horse with no health. That is a great plan, Fafner is down right here, just comes out of his ult, he lands his hammer, there's not much else he can do, he's got four people in mid kind of pushing towards him, 
Oh, Willix looking a little hungry. I hope she just gets out of here. They should go look at gold, which is what, exactly what I think they're going to go do right now. They placed a ward behind them. Mercury really needs to come alive for his team. So, something I did want to point out, uh, just to make sure everybody's following uh, how this match has turned out, uh, the blue team from last game is red team this game, and the red team from last game is the blue team this game. We have team switch sides, it's like super standard, most people are going to follow that, I just want to make sure that everybody gets that they did flip sides, so this isn't <coughs> the team that won last game dominating. This is the team that lost last game dominant. And we see Horus is in trouble if I could ever... Uh, no, he's not. Just kidding. Everybody's creeping. We're at the 12 minute mark and there's still only been 10 kills in total. All nine of them though have been on blue team's side. Big plays coming from War Ace, big plays coming from a Willix, uh, great setup coming from Buzzard. And we have the fight going down, there's the Hera ult, and a Willix is going to pick up Sins, a Willix might pick up the Baron, Baron heal, that's big, uh, Falfer's going to try to get something but that Horus knock up. And Buzzard's going to pick up uh, whoever just died, uh, and then... Willis is going to pick up Faulkner. And they're definitely getting this mid tower. Uh, honestly, I'm taking this mid tower if I'm them, and I'm doing Pyro. War Ace helps in solo lane. I think that go down goes Kukulin. You just hear me blabbering on there for a second. Right tower goes down. They don't take mid tower. And they don't push an objective. So that's definitely going to be the, and like, I guess with it being showcase games, uh, players are Mercury all incoming. There's the beads. That was a little early in my opinion. I guess it kind of saved him, but uh, I don't know. I don't know if it was actually going to be necessary. I think he could have waited. He could have beads something the grab. Good body blocking from the Fafner. Big alt from Q Rocks, and he's going to pick up Sins for that. That's a game changer. He's gonna get out now. War Ace has got to get out of here, and he just lands auto after auto. But he's gonna fall to Baron. Oh goodness, is Buzzard and Q Rock's gonna fall now as well? Buzzard with the knockup. There's the Argus. Hera alt incoming. Down go two. Hera gets the double. Boffner's ulting right now. Argus is about to get Hera at triple kill. Like, not a problem. Argus, oh no, Comey Picasso steals the triple. He turns it into a double, and only Mercury's left standing. Go get Pyro. Go get Fire. Go get Pyro. Go get Fire. Objectives, objectives, objectives. You're 15 minutes in. Yeah, if you guys are that afraid of Fire, we should just chunk the heck out of your arm right there for standing in that uh, knockup. Uh, Pyro is right behind you. Uh, I think they're fine taking this. They just need to be mindful of that knockup right there, which is going to end up killing three of them. Picasso's so lucky he got out needed. Down goes Horus. Oh my goodness, down goes Hera. That was awful. I don't know what just happened. That, that was terrible. That was like... That is, I don't have any words for how terrible of, of what I just saw happen on Fire Drive. A team be up by 19 kills, a team be up by 10k gold, 
and to throw Fire Giant like that. Now, they didn't give it up to the enemy team, so that's a plus, but they all just died and didn't, didn't, they didn't even get Fire Giant. Like, they just died. Like, what? What? Or ace deep in enemy territory. He's looking to size up vivid. Look, look at these moves. Look at these moves. We're gonna we're gonna get the live view. It's like pew pew. Comes through. Oh, this is gonna be a big fight. There's vivid's alt. Picasso dies to sins. War ace could be next. There's the there's the Harold. Argus is coming in. He's doing some damage. Baron's gonna get somebody. War Ace picks up a kill. I don't even know how War Ace picked up a kill. We're going to get out of this view so I can see what's going on. Baron's going to pick somebody else up. He takes up uh, Hera, it looks like. Q-Rock's coming in a little late. He might be able to pick up Baron, though. He's got three people who are weak against him. He's going to ult in. He, he lands the first one on Vivid. He's going to get the second one. He picks up the Baron. Ah, oh, he's going to get Vivid right here. War Ace picks up Sins, and he also, he just, he grabs the triple. Wow, I didn't even see everybody he picks up, but he got Vivid at the very last second, picks up the triple. Uh, Gold Fury's down. Let's grab Gold Fury. Let's push mid up. Uh, let's see if we can grab that middle tower. Or let's see, see if we, yeah, definitely that middle tower, actually. That's what I want. I think they were looking at Pyro. Alright, well, let's see. Yeah. So, he doesn't need to. I don't know what Buzzer was doing right there. He started Pyro there for a second. He definitely doesn't need to, but if he wanted to rush that down, he could have altered as a Willix. That increases your power and autos, and people don't understand how effective that is on objective pushes, such as Phoenixes and Towers or from Gold Fury to Pyro. I mean, it's not literally like game breaking, but it makes a clear difference. And uh, like I said earlier, any edge you can get, uh, they pile up. They definitely help towards dominant wins. Baron missing a uh, root. That's kind of big. I don't know what red team's doing right now. Cullen continually just over there on the right farming. Here comes the Mercury, just holding his alt right now. No reason to use it, to be honest. That tower falls too easy. Baron's in danger of getting picked if he's not careful. Oh, his heal comes out. There's the Baron alt. There's no one realistically to pull. Baron's going to pick up the kill on Horus, though. Fofner's chasing. He chases a Willis completely out of the play. Harris trying to get this Kukulin. She's going to chase him deep in the back line. I think I see uh, Yorm alt just went down. It looks like a Willis. Is, she's still chasing too. It looks like a Willis is back here. There. Can I get a better camera angle? Like Yorm's about to go down. Ooh. Ooh. Yorm better sacrifice himself. Oh, Willis is in danger too, but she's going to pick up Baron. She's going to fall to Vivid though. Vivid has a big chance here to pick up two kills. Can you get Yorm? Vivid dash, Vivid dash, Vivid dash, dash, dash. Somebody dash. Push them. Pressure, pressure, pressure. War Ace picks up. Uh, he gets killed by Sins, but he I think he picked up Vivid. No, he didn't pick up Vivid. Who did he pick up? Picasso. He picked up uh, Willix. Six awards from Buzzard, five from uh, In Your Holes, four from, is it Act Jokingly? Yeah. Uh, another four from Cyrus. No award.
ward from either jungler and no ward from the Kukulin, which is TSB King Azrael. Like to see ward, guys. I know captains are definitely going to look at something like that. Uh, while it, I guess it can be taught for sure, it's definitely something that people don't want to have to teach or stress over. Uh, especially when you're coming closer to the competitive level of the game. Uh, nobody wants to like focus on teaching you such a fundamental like that. That's not to say the uh, ward placement. That's a little bit different. But like, I, everybody should be warding. I don't care what position you are. And I'm not saying you have to ward like consistently, but everybody should definitely be warding. Like every every single, like especially junglers. So you can ward very aggressively as junglers. You can be warding buffs. Uh, that way you know cooldowns better. There's so much. Can ooh the that hair ult was really late. That hair ult was really late. And Argus is gonna be completely wasted here. Mercury off by himself. Baron ult coming in. That could be really big. He's just pulling people through the wall. And blue team is heavily on the defense right now. They're trying to retreat. Mercury making a big play here. He's going to pick up one. Sins picks up Cyrus. Uh, King Azrael picks up Picasso. This is really bad for blue team here. The only objective currently on the board uh, is Gold Fury. He's about to come up. Azrael's going to pick up uh, War Ace. And uh, oh, there's the entire team down. Boom. Gold's about to come up, guys. Uh, gold or fire. Gold or fire. Gold or fire. Gold or fire. Where are they going? They're going to fire. They can do pyre, I guess, but they could just done gold. So you've got two people pushing mid and three pushing fire. Doable. I hope Vivid's using the right passive. I actually would have liked Mercury to come with that. Uh, I don't know if they're going to have the DPS. Eh, they should. So if you guys didn't know, that was not good for Vivid. Um, you take... You do less damage to any objective that is currently targeting you. So that's why you always want somebody else to tank a Fire Giant, somebody else to tank a Tower if you're the ADC. Because when you tank it, you do slightly, you get a debuff to the damage you do to it. So red team brought this back to within 4k gold. Uh, still kind of out there, about 14 kills down. Uh, let's see what else we got going on here. Mercury has been Mercury and blah, 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 blah. Sins and War Ace have been farming the best for each team. Red team's just gonna get uh, Gold Fury, no problem. Slightly uncontested, uncontested, but Blue team was not brave enough to go ahead and step in. War Ace and Willix farming the best. Mercury slightly behind. Warrace at 30k damage. 15k over the next closest player. And this this could be a big game. This could be a game deciding fight right here. Blue team does have all their towers, so that's a plus, but that doesn't necessarily mean that red team's not gonna be able to siege through them into a Phoenix if they get a Deicide right now. Vivid split pushing and backing right now. I'm not sure I completely agree with that. There's the Mercury all down. Norm looking for his knock up. He gets it on the Fafner again. I'm not sure I agree with that. Fafner's gonna ult. A oh, Willix trying to pick up pick up the Mercury. I don't know if she's gonna get it. Baron ult's gonna grab Hera. Uh, what is that? Fafner's gonna pick up Hera. She did. Yorm's going. Yorm gets his ward. There's a big Baron heal. Uh, Kukulin's gonna pick up uh, a Willix. That's a big oof. Blue team's falling by. Kukulin's gonna pick up Horus. Yo, Yorm's gotta run. They gotta look at a defensive plan right now. Down goes War Ace. Everyone's dead except for Yorm. Yikes, dude. This is almost a repeat of what we saw last game. This team literally, they fell behind even harder 
this time around. And they're turning it around and finishing so strong. What a play from this team. Cullen is taking endless damage. They get the middle Phoenix. They just need to fully retreat and reset right now. No need to poke at anything. Just get out. Momentum's clearly gone back to their side. Uh, they're pretty much tied in gold. They might be hot behind in kills, but that realistically doesn't matter right now. Those kills are just stats at this point. They don't mean anything. So blue team right now, man, like, I don't know if it's a finishing issue. I don't know what it is, but last game, they, the beginning of the game, they start the game, they're winning, they're doing well. And the lead starts to slip from them, and it falls heavily into the other team's side. This time around, they dominate the entire first, probably, we're going to say 60%, 75% of the game. And now this back quarter of it, they, 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 they're not doing too hot. I don't know, I don't know what's going on. Very interesting to see how that's developed, how that's turned out. Buzzard's only level 15 at almost 30 minutes. That could be a you know, factor. Uh, in your holes is at level 18. Uh, so, uh, and I think a Willix just hit 20, so a Willix was under level as well. Fire Giant isn't down, or isn't up yet, but it's about to be. We see everybody grouping pretty well, knowing to stick together. But they are still loose enough to where there's potential for a pick. If there was more aggressive warding, uh, that a Willix with a blink, which that a Willix doesn't have, it has a beads and a uh, Aegis, not the move. You always get blink with a Willix. Always, 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 always. You get beads or Aegis and blink. But yeah, you could be looking for a pick on somebody, but. Now they're just going to siege this right tower and they're going to just walk out with two of blue team's ults down. Red team, that was, that was super successful. Here comes the Fafner ult. If they can pick up Yorm right here, they can turn this fight around completely. I'm just trying to get my camera to go to a better angle. There This is going to pick up Q Rocks. The Yorm is dead. Oh, what a play from Baron. He pick, he gets a double kill picking up Buzzard and uh, Warriors. Oh, uh, yikes. Picasso is going to get a double kill on his own. He's going to try to keep his team in this. Hare is going to... Cyrus, big play from him. Hare is going to pick up something. Hera gets killed by Vivid just as she's about to ult. She might have had a chance to kill uh, the Fafner, but we'll never know. And now Vivid and Fafner are in a good position. Waves coming in. Uh, they have a really good chance of taking this Phoenix. <gasps> and Picasso lands a knockup, kills the Fafner. He's got to save this Phoenix. He's got to do something here. The man has shown the clutch gene. Can he finish it off? If he had Blink, he could. Just save. Ooh, Vivid hurts. If it hurts, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. I believe in you. Uh, he's just gonna back, and that's that's where the, that that duel is gonna end. What a game up to this point. So this next fight should occur around Fire Giant. Um, and this... Uh, if it goes the way it should, this should be the last fight of the game. But, you know, things don't always go the way they should.
I guess he was just pushing up wave there. I'm not exactly sure what was going on with that. Here's the fight around Fire Giant. Not exactly on Fire Giant, but around Fire Giant. At the 31 minute mark, and Buzzard's only level 17, Faulkner's only level 19. Blue team gets Pyro. Cullen trying to do some damage here. He's going to get knocked up by Horus. And a lot of abilities are going to smack him right in the face. And down goes Baron to Q-Rox. In comes Mercury. Where Sins is going to pick up War Ace. Picasso is going to... Oh my goodness. Picasso with a double kill. He's going to pick up uh, King Azrael and uh, act jokingly. Or Sins. He picked up Sins. My, my, my bad. And that's it for Fafner. If Vivid dies, even if Vivid survives, this game's probably over. But if Vivid dies, this game's over. And Vivid goes down. Push mid lane and end the game. Yo, Picasso, if you have alt, man, you should be alting on this Phoenix right now. This is exactly what I'd be talking about, guys. Where I'm saying, like, you got, you got no idea using. Nah, he probably didn't have all right there because he, he like, it would have made more sense to use it in the fight. Uh, but if he has it, like, that's why I'd be doing it right now. Baron trying to do something. They're gonna pick up two phoenixes mid and right. And, I mean, they pretty much crippled red team. Mercury's gonna try to do something here, but. Alt comes up a little too short. There's three people there. There's not much he can do. They're, there's no way. They're, they're going to look at an enhanced fire right now. They're scattered out in low. What to do, what to do. So what I'm seeing right now is a lot of wasted time right now, guys. Obviously, you're going to push up waves a little bit. But at this point in the game, you're looking to fight and end the game. That's what you're. That's literally what you guys are looking for. So like, you should be looking for an objective, or a point of interest, something to defend, something to push. Uh, and like the team effort should be towards that necessarily. Uh, it does seem like in this game, from time to time, people kind of stretch out a little bit. Where like right here, like what's the what's the point of going to do some buffs? Just group up and look look to actually clear the game. Everybody should be close enough to full build. Everybody is actually full build now. Uh, relics should be upgraded. Uh, you should be like ready to fight by this point in the game. And they're gonna, blue team's gonna start enhanced fire, looks like, or are they not gonna start at all? They're just gonna hover around it, red team's gonna back off completely. Going in on Willix here. She gets the flip and has to kill. War Ace is going to pick up... S is that Baron? Please tell me it's Baron. That was the kill that happened here. Oh, there's the Mercury ult. There's the beads from War Ace. And then you got a little scared of Mercury there. Mercury's got to get out of this. You got three people chasing. Good blink there. Well, X was going to finish him up if he didn't blink. They've got to go into some hard defense right here. I'm blue team. You got 30 seconds to siege. Either group up and look for the fight or group up and take that left tower. One of the other guys. Time management is so key right here when somebody's dead. Well, 
Alex is 15 and 4. Uh, Chernobog is 13 and 6. Not a single person for Red Team has gone positive. The only person who's negative for Blue Team is the support. And he's a support. What a game. 37 minutes. This is actually exhausting, I'm not even gonna lie. Like, if I'm in a 37 minute game, I'm like, yeah, we need to find a way to end this. Are they really gonna get this uncontested? Now, I wonder if that's a call from Red Team where they're like, you know, just defend the Phoenixes, get our Phoenixes up, let them have everything. Because, uh, I mean, like, at this point, it is, you're in the end game, so, like, farming isn't as important. You can kind of give it up a little bit, but losing enhanced fire, I don't know about that one. Okay, let's keep calling off. There's Mercury ult. There's Hera ult. Cullen's gonna get the kill on Hera. Hera is no more. There's the Awilix flip. Where's the knockup, Picasso? No, Yorm's there though. Yeah, you should alter right there, Picasso. I would have loved you for that. Vivid, you're in dangerous territory. Your team needs to defend. Your team needs to defend, Vivid. War Ace is gonna clean Vivid up. Picasso is gonna clean up Sins. War Ace is gonna pick up uh, Israel as well as Kukulin. And this looks like this is gonna be game right here, guys. Blue team is able to close it out this time. They don't choke away the lead. Great game from them. They started strong, almost threw a little bit there towards the late, mid to late game, but they got it back together. They end the game strong. Uh, some great showcase matches from all the prospects so far. Um, we got to see two great mids. We got to see two great jungles. We got to see two great ADCs. Uh, the solo play, now I will uh, go out and say that Buzzard and uh, Israel, or Azrael, who played uh, Kukulin this time around, they are both solo mains, they're not supports, um, and Buzzard got forced into support both times. I know, uh, I think it was uh, In Your Hole swapped with Azrael, so that's very polite of him. That's a very uh, team-friendly mindset to have. So that's a plus to him. It has 21 assists as well. That's a big help. Um, that's going to be my last showcase game of the night because I am actually exhausted from all the streaming I've done today and my room's like 90,000 degrees. I will do probably three to four showcase games tomorrow between the times of like 8 p.m. and 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um... We do have subscriptions now, guys, so feel free to like and subscribe. Come join the Cleety Club. Um, enjoy the rest of your night, guys.